So those of you who have been watching the channel for some years would know that uh, I have historically driven a Toyota Tundra. In fact, I've had Toyota trucks for many years, uh, maybe, oh gosh, 20, 25, over 20 years. Anyway, it was, uh, it was a two wheel drive and that was an issue. Uh, I had that truck for that one truck for maybe eight years and I just got tired of not having a four-wheel drive uh, because I pulled boats and, and trailers and things so uh, but I still sucked it up because I loved my Toyota I really didn't want to get rid of my truck uh, but the paint started to peel so I went out and, and switched ponies and I ended up with this because the reviews are good it's, they're making good uh, trucks now but anyway it doesn't have a hitch there's nothing see so there's a there's a bar here where I can this part of the frame where I can hopefully add a hitch and I bought I called the dealer and I said look man how much for a hitch they said well we have them in stock and they're 400 and some dollars I said what now I'm talking about for a receiver this is a it's not a hitch, it's a receiver for a hitch. You know what I mean. So, I went online and found this for $46. And we're going to see if it'll, if it'll work. What the heck, give it a try. It's, it's supposed to work for this. This is a... Uh, this model is the classic. You see? And, uh... The designation... But this unit says it will fit on this classic 2019. All right, here we go. We got a bag of hardware. We've got a hitch. Now, let's see if the hitch will fit. I should know just by putting it in place. Let's see. This, I guess, this goes up. And here you gotta, you gotta feed that. And then these holes, they line up. Yep. Yep. Looks like looks like they line up. Okay. And then there's a this part here where you put a uh, bolt down through the hitch hole. And that's the cap. There's the cap. The bottom of the cap we're looking at. Yeah. So that'll that will hopefully go together well. And I've got some. I've got a fish. The fish spring among these parts. You see it in there. And that actually gets fed through here. You feed the you feed the fish with the hardware down in here, and you put the nut or you run the bolt out through here and then the nut goes on the back and locks it in place yeah so we actually have to feed bolts into here through the ends all right let's make it happen get that out of there and uh i don't even know if i have a half inch <laughs> uh, allen key that just drops down and goes into there. Sense, huh? All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, I got that in there. I'll hold that with my knee. And I'm going to drop this bolt down in there just to hold it in place, so that I can. Uh, that'd be a good way to do it. Hold this in place so that I can get the other hardware in there. Wouldn't you know it that my kit only goes up to eight millimeter or three eighths, no half inch. So I will have to go, look this is eight millimeter. I'll have to go to uh, the store and uh, get a half inch. I have my hardware ready to go. You see we've got a carriage bolt and a, uh, what acts as a washer and you know a retainer this part here this plate and we've got a lock nut that goes on there 
and here is our fish tape. Now this is where I sit, I give a disclaimer and say, assume that I am an ape and I know nothing. Don't do what I do. Uh, get a professional to do this. This is just me doing this on my truck and I'm not recommending you do it yourself because I don't want anybody to get hurt with a boat or a trailer that's come detached from a truck. So, do what you gotta do. Alright, so I gotta put this on here and feed it through there. Alright. Now, I've got this this fish wire on this this bolt, right? And I've got the fish wire fed into the tube. But how the hell am I going to find it down here? Uh, <laughs> I guess I need to stick a hook in there and fish it out. Fish the fish out. All right. So here's what they don't tell you. And you can't see because of my hand in a way. But there's a curve to this wire. You, you see how it's curved like that? You've got to curve it in such a way that it will, when it feeds through here, it will push out through there. Because uh, otherwise, it's just gonna keep traveling in and out of the tube and it's not gonna find that, that hole right there. Well, they make it look really easy, the people that make these things, but that's a little bit tricky. But look, I got it through there. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and be thankful for that. Push that hardware up in there. And I, got I think this should be separate because it's not going to want to feed through there like that, is it? So we'll push those up in there separately and hope we can adjust them when they get down here. I don't want to lose my hardware either. That's scary. Oh, there we go. Looks like I got it. That's the start of it. I guess that's it. Yeah. All right. So I want to be, make real sure that I don't lose this bolt once I pull this fish tape off of here. I'm going to get that nut started. Now, now look. This is the good thing about a, a non-sponsored review is you get the real skinny, and you get to see all of my failures as well as triumphs. And so I'm trying to get this. <laughs> this uh, fish wire off of this nut and in so doing it breaks right and I'm trying to pull it off I think you really be, would be smart to take your spare out of the way because there's no work room here um, and it would have been a lot easier but so anyway I'm pulling this off of here with a screwdriver with the help of a screwdriver and at the same time I'm being careful not to let this go I don't want this to go into here or I got to order new hardware. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull down on this with downward pressure that will hold this bolt in, in place here. Pull down on this, holding the bolt, uh, and uh, then I can s start slipping this uh, lock. No. And apparently the manufacturers ha realize that this is going to happen that these fish wires are going to break or get lost. And so they've included an extra. There were two of these in here. And here's the other set of hardware. So we'll get going with that now that I've got the one in place. Okay, now the other one is through. Now in, it, it, took me a, it took me a number of tries to get that in there. And in defense of these guys that do the videos from the, for the manufacturer, you know they do this all the time so that's going to be a lot easier for them but being a first timer you want to take your time and I would really recommend eye protection because this is very sharp you know you don't want to be swinging this thing around and put your eye out
Gotcha. Got that one on. And soon we'll have this one on. Take your time. Maybe, maybe hold that in place with a screwdriver. Hold that in place. You definitely just, you don't want to push that in. Okay, I finally have this in place. I went to the store, the home improvement store, uh, to get what I thought was going to be a half inch Allen and uh, they didn't have it. They didn't have anything that big. Uh, and the biggest I had here was this 10 millimeter or 3 eighths of an inch. And I think that this turns out that this is going to be like 12, a 12 millimeter or even bigger. Look at that. That's, that's a big hole. So I went down to see my buddy who works on boats and he was there and he, he, he set me up. He had an Allen, he had a hex key that he was actually able to torque this down with. Uh, so that, uh, that worked fine. And, that, and so this was, what did I say, $46 beats $400 plus from the dealer. <laughs> I bought it online and the beauty of watching the beauty of watching my videos, or at least this video, is it's not sponsored. And as I said, you get to see all the, the downside of these things. But it all worked out well in the end. Now I can tow my boat. Okay. Alright. And that is that.